Hey guys, welcome back to Project Felicity, my 2006 Jeep Wrangler that we're putting a Kubota V2403 diesel engine into. Today, we're going to start taking everything apart. Let's get started. We are going to start finally really taking apart the Wrangler. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just take off all the easy stuff that I can off the engine and the front. So, I'm looking to take off the headlights, the air box, the air intake, the serpentine belt, Anything that I can easily take off the engine that's going to make it easier to pull the engine out, hopefully sometime soon. Hey guys, meant to say this earlier, but the way I'm going to keep track of everything that I'm taking off this Wrangler is with all these Ziploc bags and this Sharpie. Whenever I take a nut or bolt off, I'm going to put it in a bag, I'm going to label it. So when once we get the Kubota V2403 in here, we can hopefully find all the nuts and bolts we need easy enough to reassemble everything. Let's get back to it. I cannot find my coolant drain pan or my label maker. So I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. I'm getting to the point where I'm really having to label a lot of stuff and I'm trying to use this electrical tape and it's just not working real well. So I'm gonna pick this back up tomorrow evening. Hey guys, welcome back to Project Felicity. Today we're gonna to be draining all the fluid and taking off the drive shafts. Once we get that done, we're gonna go back to taking stuff off the engine. Hey guys, first thing we're doing today is draining the radiator. Let's go underneath. I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick. It's really easy on these 2006 TJ Wranglers. And then we're gonna to go to time-lapse. So for anyone knowing, wanting to know how to do it, all you have to do is turn this peacock. Now. As you can see, it actually looks like I've been leaking some coolant. So I'm gonna to have to investigate that. I'm not sure what the cause of that is yet. But all we have to do is get a bucket, open this up, and we will start draining all of our radiator fluid. Let's get started. As you can see, it's draining, it's going pretty quickly, and most importantly, we're really not making a mess, which is always good. Hey, while the coolant's draining, we're gonna go ahead and drain the engine oil. We have the coolant draining, we have the engine oil draining. Now I'm gonna check the transfer case and the transmission and see if we can start draining those fluids as well. Hey 
guys. So we've started draining all the fluid, the coolant's drained, the engine oil's drained. We're working on draining the transfer case right now. Next, we're gonna be moving to the drive shafts. update so we've gotten both drive shafts out and a quick little tip wish I had thought about this before I started doing it if you're gonna take the front drive shaft out undo the u-joints at the front axle first that way if your transfer case is in neutral you can spin the drive shaft to get the bolts easier the other thing I learned I've been hearing a clunk in the front end hadn't figured it out turns out I need to replace my front u-joint again looks like I had lost some needle bearings Next on the project is going to be taking off the front grill. So we're going to take apart the radiator, unhook the headlights, and anything that we have to disassemble, disconnect, or unbolt to get the front grill off.
Hey guys, so I'm gonna wrap it up for the evening. We got a lot done today. We got all the fluids drained. We got both drive shafts off and we got the front grill off and we've started to take apart stuff in the engine bay. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you feel like subscribing, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. See you again soon. Bye.